thought I'd make this quick video talking about a problem I've been having with Capture One and how I solved it. Now I'm moving over to a new computer, setting up everything, getting all my apps licensed. And I started running into problems with Capture One. Every time I went to run the license manager, I would get this error. Unable to establish connection to the Capture One activation server, please try again later. So if you Google the error or you contact support, they're just going to direct you to this article they posted about a year ago. The troubleshooting steps are make sure you are connected to the internet. Typically disconnecting and reconnecting your internet connection should resolve it. In some cases, it will require a full router reset. I reboot my router every couple weeks and I know I'm on the internet because I'm sending support emails trying to get help. Make sure you are not using a VPN connection when activating Capture One. That's actually not bad advice. I do have a VPN service, though I rarely use it, and I'm certainly not using it when I'm trying to run Capture One. Investigate whether your firewall isn't blocking Capture One's request. That's a pretty reasonable troubleshooting step. I did turn off my firewall, tried to activate Capture One, still had problems. Now I'm gonna circle back around to the firewall thing in a bit, I just want to finish reading the rest of this article. Check that there are no overrides in your host file. My host file is default. There's nothing in there. I haven't done an override in my host's file in many, many years. So that's not the case. Uninstall and reinstall the application. I did that. Still didn't fix it. If something is still blocking your connection, try renaming the file from capture121.app. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so .app tells me that's a troubleshooting step for Mac. I'm on Windows. So I did everything that was outlined in this article for the most part, but it didn't work. So I did go back to Windows Defender Firewall and I had to do some more digging. Now I did solve it, but it was a little more work and I think they could stand to have a little more detailed troubleshooting around firewalls because this might be something a lot of people won't know to look for. In Windows, I'm going to do a search for Windows Defender Firewall, which will open up the basic settings dialog for the Windows Defender Firewall. What you want to click on is on the left for Advanced Settings. You want to locate Inbound Rules and look for Capture One. Now, there are more than one entries for Capture One. I noticed that two of those were not enabled. So I enabled both rules. After doing this, Capture One was finally able to authenticate. Now, when you're adjusting rules for Windows Firewall, even though it won't prompt you, sometimes you do need to reboot for it to take effect. But again, Windows won't always tell you that you have to reboot. Now, this worked for me. This might not work for you. I can't speak for every problem. I'm not Capture One support, but if Capture One sees this video, you might want to consider putting a little more detailed information on your website because a lot of people, and I've done a lot of IT support in the past, they're not going to know to go to advanced settings and go to rules and enable and disable. A lot of people don't have that confidence. And frankly, the caliber of users that I've seen in tech, you don't want everyone going in there if they don't know what it is. So I think some screenshots, a little extra direction for your users might go a long way. But then again, Capture One probably doesn't want to deal with accountability, right? If they tell people to adjust firewall rules and they screw something up, then people will think that Capture One owes them more support. So I can see both sides of the fence, but this worked for me and I wanted to share it all with you probably won't pertain to all of you if you're not using Capture One. So I hope this helps out at least one other person. I'm breathing better and now I can move on using my new computer and I'm much happier. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you again next time.